everyone knows you need a catchy thumbnail to get people's attention and there it is. So today is a very special episode when it comes to this being the 300th episode and I have 10,500 subscribers. I wanted to thank all you guys for just uh, helping out with the channel by watching my videos and subscribing to the channel and actually uh, giving me feedback of what I should do. This channel uh, evolved to where it is now because of the viewers. And so, because I would listen, I read and uh, answer to every comment and this, and I actually listen to the viewers and I change the way I do things based on the feedback that I get. So this channel evolved the way it is because of you guys and I thank you guys so much. Uh, two days ago, I received my favorite comment that I've ever read. It says, your intro is getting longer and longer and longer. I'm waiting for the day to where you reach 10 million subscribers and you're gonna have so many tools then you're gonna, your intro is gonna be 15 minutes long. And so it, 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 that was hilarious. I know exactly what he meant. Today what I want to do is I want to give a little demo and talk about my favorite tools out of all the tools that I own. Just so you guys know, in drills and impacts alone, I have like about 58 tools. Uh, 58 of them. So it's the, this channel got crazy and it's only going to get crazier. So, but today, like I said, I just I want to talk about my favorite tools from each brand, and uh, in both 2018, uh, 22, and 12 volt systems. So I have them all right here. It took me a little bit to pick them out, but these are my favorite tools. So we're going to go through them one by one, and I'm going to give a little demo for them and talk about the tool, about the specs, really quick. At two. Uh, favorite tools and that's and it's for this it's not specifically these two tools it's the type of tool now I love the drill driver that has a quarter inch hex on it so the two that I have that are brushless are DeWalt and Hilti so these two are my favorite tools right now so when I get more brushless versions of these from a different brand that will also turn into my favorite tool this is my favorite style of tool. Model number for the DeWalt is DCF601 for the DeWalt and for the Hilti it is SFD2A12. Go. Time. We're not going to do it on speed two. All right so ready? Go. Down on speed one. Next is the M12 Milwaukee Fuel Hammer Drill. Now this has pretty decent power for its size. You know, uh, I love the thick handle. It's a little bit too thick, but I still love it. This thing is, this thing is awesome, and this is the sort of thing that you're proud to have in your hand while you're working. Model number for this is 2504-20, and yes, it's a it's a part of the M12 system. M12 fuel system, which this thing is awesome. We have a five and thirty seconds uh, hammer drill on hammer bit on there. We got to hammer speed two. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. And time. Not bad for a 12 volt, and the battery I think is at four bars still. So the next is the DeWalt uh, quarter inch hex impact driver with a selective speed, uh, with a uh, speed, a uh, three speed selection. Now I do have the M12 fuel. Uh, when it comes to this, I do not like the angle. I do not like the angle of it because if you have, if you put a battery in there, If you put a battery in there, it angles upward, and I do not like that for an impact driver because I do not want to be on an angle. If I'm going down, I don't want to twist my wrist extra to get there. 
So that's why this is not here, and that's why the DeWalt is up here. This one's more powerful than the DeWalt, but it's not nearly as comfortable. So I, I actually, I don't like using this. So the, like I said, the DeWalt has a three-speed settings. It has a screw low than high. So this is a brushless motor. Uh, the model number for this is DCF801. Now, if this uh, the DeWalt 12 volt system does come with uh, two amp hour and three amp hour batteries, and I also think it has a 1.5. That's the only bad thing about the DeWalt uh, 12 volt system. It only goes up to three amp hour batteries, which they should make six amp hour and four amp hour batteries. It would be awesome if they if they do that. But this thing is awesome. It has three tri it has a tri beam on the front. And so, yes, this is my favorite 12-volt uh, impact driver. And I do have the Hilti. I have the Hilti impact driver, but this is variable trigger only with no speed selection. So that's why this is not up there. The extreme line. It's on high. All right, so ready, go. Very good. All right, that's the 12 volt impact. All right, so next is I'm gonna say the Ryobi uh, power inflator. Now this is a, a blower. It's a mini blower. It it's pr it's extremely powerful for what this is. So and this this easily uh, clears away your workspace. Which if you have a workspace full of sawdust. This will take care of that in seconds with a uh, little to no effort because the battery actually lasts a long time with this leaf blower because it demands less power for what you get. So it's awesome. So this is among my favorite tools because this, this probably in the workshop, this probably gets used the most out of all the tools is this one right here. So that's the Ryobi inflator. Put up while it's on the floor. All right, next I want to go into a regular drill. Now my favorite regular drill is the DeWalt brushless uh, atomic drill driver. What I mean by regular drill is uh, a 20 volt or an 18 volt drill because this thing is seriously lightweight and it has the power you need to do most of the uh, driving, in, uh, driving in screws or making holes. So it's capable of doing the task even on a ladder. This is ideal to have because this is extremely lightweight. And if you need to extend your arm out and uh, get those screws in, this is the tool that you want to have because of the weight. This thing is really light. A two amp hour battery would be a lot lighter than a five amp hour battery. So that would be ideal to get those couple of screws done when it comes to saving your arm from injury by stretching yourself out on the ladder so that's why this is among the my favorites because the this is has good power for the weight that it has and so like for when i'm up on the roof or fixing my gutters this will be uh on me because of the light weight i do not if you're working on a ladder and you don't need the power you don't have to sacrifice the weight for the power that you need because I wouldn't bring a hammer drill up on a ladder. That's why that they make drill drivers and not just hammer drills because if you have a hammer drill, that's extra weight that you don't want to carry. So that's why this is a part of my favorite uh, tools. Uh, the DeWalt 20 volt brushless atomic drill driver. This is model number DCD701. Two speed settings, uh, 15 point clutch. Uh, light on the bottom. You cannot adjust the light like you could other drills, but but yeah, that is my favorite drill driver. Is right there. Let's see how well it does for a three quarter inch. See, so, so people need to give the Atomic line a little bit more credit. Now they are making a, a, an Atomic version 2.0, but they need to give this a little bit more credit than what the people give it. It's actually it's actually a good tool. All right, so ready. Go. 
time. Let's do one more. Time. My favorite hammer drill is Makita mid-range hammer drill because I'm a homeowner. I do not need the beefier Makita drill, uh, the Makita hammer drill to do what I need. This has plenty of power to do what I need and this looks extremely cool. Like this one is the cool factor. This desi the design of this specific model is so awesome that I want this mainly just because of the way it looks and it actually has the power. The model number four, this is XPH12. A brushless motor, of course, a hammer drill, a screw and drill feature, 21 point clutch, two speed settings, and it's actually pretty quiet. So I love this, uh, I love this uh, hammer drill. The one thing I will say about Makita, Makita needs to make a special battery, not just the plain batteries like you see here. Like they need a special battery with the name. Like Ryobi has the HP system, DeWalt has FlexVolt, uh, FlexVolt, the Milwaukee has uh, high output or high demand. Cobalt needs, uh, Cobalt has extended run, you know, and so Hilti doesn't, uh, Hilti's batteries are already uh, up to par when it comes to power because they don't need it because their high performance batteries are their regular batteries. So that's why the Hilti batteries are so expensive. But Makita needs to make a special battery. So that's why this is a part of this, uh, part of my favorite tools. This thing's awesome. All right, so ready, go. Oop. Very good. Now, so I guess I don't have the handle for it, which is all right. All right, so let's continue. Perfect. All right, so ready, go. That is time. Oh, my favorite Makita. This uh, this thing is awesome. Mid the mid-range hammer drill. All right. So next, I, w I am going to say the Ryobi, the Ryobi uh, 18 gauge Brad nailer. Now this thing, I use this for a while. I use this to install trim in multiple houses. This thing is seriously awesome. It's the weight isn't too bad. Uh, this could fit up to. 5 8 to 2 inch uh, 18 gauge brad nails and this thing works like a charm. The only bad thing about this is is if you if this gets too cold, the the mechanics inside will fail until this is uh it gets to a certain temperature and warmth. Final number for this is P320. And so yes. Now this thing is seriously awesome. You know, it operates just like a brad nailer should. Just like that, that's done. Now I'm gonna need a crowbar to get that out. All right, so next, uh, I choose this because I have to, uh, because this is act, this is rated and tested, even against Hilti's brushless impact driver. This is rated the best impact driver on the market. And so that's why this is my favorite because I, one, I did a few tests on this. I 100% believe that the Milwaukee Fuel quarter inch hex impact driver is the best on the market so that's why it's it is here this is model number uh 2853-20 uh electronic speed settings right there and this thing is a beast we haven't done a 10 inch lag in a long time all right so ready go Very good. Next is the Ryobi Brushless uh, One Plus Reciprocating Saw. Now I use this for uh, almost uh, 
over a year and a half now uh, working on the house, the yard, you name it, I did it. I actually demoed this entire uh, uh, garage, and this thing actually uh, proved to be a worthy reciprocating saw. This thing is awesome, especially with the HP batteries. Uh, this really impressed me. Now, this has enough power to do the job that I needed to do with ease. So the model number for this is P517. And yes, this is my favorite recip saw. I even have the Milwaukee Super Sawzall. And so that's why this is a, uh, among my favorite tools. And it, it is a beast. This is a beast. It might not do the job as fast as this, but it does get the job done. All right, six amp hour HP battery. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. All right, and this is my second most favorite tool. The DeWalt a mid-range cool, uh, half-inch impact wrench. Now, this thing is awesome. It looks seriously badass. It really, really looks the way that it feels in your hand and the power it has. Now, yes, DeWalt uh, even makes a bigger full-size half-inch impact wrench that's more powerful than this. And same thing with Milwaukee, Makita. But this 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 specific mid-range impact wrench is my second most favorite tool that I own. And uh, I tried, I still have to do a versus video between the Ryobi. I have not done this yet. I gotta do the Ryobi uh, half, half inch impact wrench versus the DeWalt. This one is brushed uh, because America does not have a brushless version yet, but other countries do. And so we will be doing a versus video between that soon. This is number two. This thing is this thing is seriously awesome. Go. Let's take this out. All right. So ready. Go. Time. That is awesome. So, just as you guys can see, I have some uh, boxing videos to do. I got the Ryobi 40 volt power uh, power source. I got the DeWalt uh, Extreme Hacksaw. I got a three amp hour DeWalt 12 volt battery. So we are gonna uh, revisit some tests with this. I got the Cobalt uh, blower, which is equivalent to the Ryobi. <laughs> Excuse me, the Ryobi blower, which uh, we're going to see, do a versus video between these two, and we're, uh, after we test this out, we have the Milwaukee uh, spotlight. What's this called? The floodlight LED searchlight. So we have the M18 LED searchlight. This is one hundred and twenty dollars. So uh, I wanted this thing, especially summer's coming up. So that's coming up, and we have the Kimo uh, blower. Uh, so we're gonna unbox this and test this out and see how well this does as well And so this channel is not going anywhere you guys the channel is just getting started We are going to get into lawn care more deeply uh, this year I just want to thank you guys one more time for thank uh, for subscribing to the channel and watching my uh, Ridiculous videos, you know, it's like this is a passion now. It's been a passion for a long time so that's why I keep uh, buying these tools and I listen to suggestions on what tools to get. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.